Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, before I start the video, I want to apologize for being away for a while, but man, I had to admit, the summer holidays got me and yeah, I was not really uploading any videos for a bit, but I promise you guys, I'm back and I'm gonna try to stay true to my schedule. Anyways, let's get started with the video. As you know from the title, today we're gonna be comparing the i3-2100 versus the i5. 2500 so let's get started so guys as you probably already know these CPUs are pretty old at the moment they released back I think in 2011 and they both retailed the i3 2100 retailed for about 110 US dollars and the 2500 close to 180 to 200 US dollars but in our days you can get them used off of Aliexpress or something like that for around 33 dollars for the i3 2100 and around 50 bucks for the 2500 by the way guys these stores are from Aliexpress I use them a lot because uh, they're not just some random person selling a CPU, they're stores that actually gather a lot of CPUs, they test them and then they sell them for a bit of profit and uh, also I do not have any affiliation with them or anything but I just thought it might be helpful for some of you wanting to build a very budget build. So in today's video we're going to be obviously testing them in both uh, multi-core performance as well as gaming which mostly has to do with single war performance so we will test them for both productivity and gaming although I do not recommend anyone to try to do any type of product productivity work with the i3 because simply it is not really going to cut it because it's actually pretty slow so first of all we're gonna get started with the specs of both CPUs the i3 2100 comes with two cores and four threads and it's clocked at 3.1 gigahertz while on the other side the 2500 has four true cores and four threads and a clock speed of 3.3 gigahertz so first of all we're gonna take a look at productivity benchmarks I chose two benchmarks that I think have uh, a really good one is a real-world test and the, and the other one is a benchmark so I chose Cinebench uh, R15 and then Sony Vegas Pro I rendered a specific file and I'm comparing the time it took each CPU to complete the render and uh, then we have two games two quite popular games one of them is Fortnite one of the most popular games out there right now and the other game is Far Cry 5 in order to test the CPU performance in gaming. So let's take a look at the benchmarks. So as you guys can see, uh, the i5-2500 is really really good uh, it almost doubled the performance of the 2100 when it comes to productivity which is something really good and uh, also in terms of gaming it really made a difference because something else that you will not be able to understand out of these graphs is that uh, with the i3 we had a lot of stuttering in some games that uh, was fixed through some settings and different stuff like that but anyways the 2500 fixed all of those problems we had no stuttering or anything like that and we also increased our FPS quite a lot so now to the verdict of this video which one should you buy so a lot of people I know want to build a very cheap system and going used is the way to go nowadays because GPU prices have dropped and you can really get you can get a really good GPU for a really good price at this point and CPUs are really good as well. And also keep in mind, CPUs and GPUs usually do not degrade. It is going to be really hard to find a CPU that's damaged because of degradation. It uh, This only happens with CPUs that have been overclocked 
heavily so you don't really have to worry about that so the price is actually pretty close there's like a 15 to 20 dollar gap between the two processors uh, but I would definitely recommend you in this day and age because these CPUs are both already pretty old I would definitely recommend you to get the faster one which is the i5 2500 so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to click like like button below and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys all in the next one